Hey everyone, it's time again for a very basic Mac tutorial, how to use the Finder, how it works. So, I recommend you watch this if you're thinking of switching to a Mac, if you just bought a Mac and you have no idea what you're doing, or if you're a Mac user and you just want to listen to me talk. Finder manages anything on your computer, all the files. So, photos, Word documents, music, uh, videos. You can access anything on your computer from the Finder. And you can also access anything that has been plugged in or connected to your computer somehow, like um, an external hard drive or a flash drive or a DVD or a CD. Opening a new Finder window is similar to clicking My Computer on Windows. So how do you open your new Finder window? There's a few ways to do this. The first way is by clicking on the Finder icon, which is always the very first icon on your dock. It does not look like this by default. I changed the icons on my Mac. Clicking on the Finder icon will bring up a new Finder window. Another way is by clicking on any folder you may have on your desktop. So here's a sample folder. Double click it, and this is a Finder window as well. And the final way to open a Finder window is make sure the Finder is the active application by clicking anywhere on your desktop and then Command N will open up a new window. Now that we have a window open, I'll take some time to show you around the window. So there's two panels. The left side is referred to as the sidebar and this contains shortcuts to folders, um, hard drives, anything really on your Mac. So the devices area it contains hard drives or anything else that is plugged into your computer or anything in the CD drive. Shared displays any computer that is connected to the same wireless network. And places are a few shortcuts to folders on your Mac. And then these are search options under search for. The right side of the window contains the contents of any selected folder or item. So right now, this iTalk app folder selected. This is called your home folder. So when you first start up your Mac, it'll ask you to create a user account. And whatever you name that account is going to be the name of this home folder. So choose wisely. Um, and in your home folder, you'll have shortcuts to several other folders. Um, the icons do not look like this. I changed them, so ignore that. You have desktop. Anything you put on your desktop really is stored in your desktop folder documents, music, pictures, things like that. So what I recommend is if you're creating a Word document, instead of storing it on your desktop, put it in your documents folder or create a folder within your documents folder. How do you do that? Just double click on documents and there are several ways to create a new folder. You can right click and click new folder or you can go up to the file menu and then hit new folder or there's a shortcut which is Command Shift N. And then you can call this folder whatever you want. So I'll call it Sample. And then hit Enter to save that change to the name. So now I have a folder. What if I want to rename this folder? All you have to do is select the folder and then click again on the words, wait for it to turn blue like so, and then you can make your changes. Another way is to select the folder and hit Enter and then you can um, change the name. So that's how folders work. Now back to the interface, you also have these back and forward buttons. So you can see the folder that you viewed previously. So if I click this back button, it takes me back to my home folder because that's the last place I was at. I can go forward to go back to the documents folder where I was after selecting the home folder. Over here we have a few view options. So by default, the icon view is selected, and this just shows all your files as little pictures. And you can change the size by going to the bottom right and dragging the slider if you for some reason want to make them really big. Next is list view, which displays everything in a list, and you can change the way that they're sorted. So right now it's by name. You can change it so it's by date modified if you like. I like it by name. And column view, this is good if you're navigating through several folders, so you can go back easily without clicking through a bunch of back buttons. And then finally, there's cover flow. Cover flow is pretty cool because you get the list view 
combined with the icon view in a way. So you can kind of see a preview of what you're looking at along with sorting everything by name or date modified and so on. It's all personal preference, so whichever way you like viewing your files best is what you should go with. This next icon, little eyeball, is one of my favorite features on a Mac, and it's called Quick Look. So if I select a file, such as this PDF, and I click the little eyeball, it will give me a preview of that document without having to open an application. So it's just an instant look at that file. Another way is by just selecting it and hitting the space bar. So you can do that anywhere. If you had this file on your desktop and you don't have the little and the finder window was not open, you can select it and hit the space bar and there's Quick Look. To the right of Quick Look is an actions menu, this little wheel icon. So whenever you have a file or folder selected, you can perform various actions relating to that file. So you can make a new folder with that file in it, you can move the file to the trash if you don't want it anymore, you can compress it. You can also give them labels, and this is useful if you really want to get organized and give different types of documents different types of labels. So yellow, for example, will make the writing um, yellow. On the other side of the window is a search box, so you can search anything on your Mac. It's pretty much like Spotlight, but with a, inside of a Finder window. So if I type the letter A, I can search this Mac, I can search the specific folder I was in, which was Documents. Finder is called Finder for a reason. It helps you find anything that is stored on your Mac, any file that you have on your computer. So there's a whole search for section, which is really useful. Sometimes Spotlight isn't really enough can't be very specific with it. But for search for, you can actually search for recently changed items. So anything that you had used or changed today, um, yesterday, the past week. So those are the real basics of the Finder. Before I end the video, I just want to add a few things. In my first basic Mac tutorial video, I showed you how the dock comes stored with a bunch of applications. Well, these are not the only applications on your computer. So if you open a finder window and select the applications shortcut under places, this will show you all the applications that you have installed on your hard drive. You can really drag anything you want anywhere pretty much in the finder, whether it's under places or at the top of the window. For example, let's say I use iChat a lot, but I don't really want it in my dock, or I just want it in another place besides my dock because I use it so often can drag it in, let's say under documents, and now when I click it, iChat launches. And when you drag it out, you'll see the little poof, and it does not delete the application, it's still there, just the shortcut. You can do this with folders, or even documents that you open all the time. Um, let's say another one, for example, dictionary, that's a useful one. I can drag this even to the toolbar. And now I have a little dictionary icon. If I click it, it will open the dictionary. To take out the dictionary, hold down Command while you drag. And these are just some really useful features that the Finder has to offer. If you right-click on the top part of the window, the toolbar, you can click on Customize Toolbar, and you can drag other buttons into the toolbar that you feel are useful, like New Folder going to Finder and then Preferences or Command Comma is the shortcut, you can change actual preferences for the Finder. So you can show hard disks on your desktop, for example. So the hard drives that I have are my Macintosh hard drive along with um, my external hard drive. I can display that as well if I want to, but I don't want to. And you can change what new Finder windows automatically open with. So right now I have it automatically opening it with my home folder. So whenever I click Finder, it opens to my home folder, but you can change that to any folder you want. You don't have to show devices if you don't want to, or certain places. I don't know why you wouldn't want to. You don't even have to show the search for at all. The final feature I want to show you is really useful if you have tons of folders to be navigating through and you want to move a file to a folder. So I'm going to open a Finder window and create some folders within folders. So as you can see, I've created a few folders within folders, and what I'm going to do is show you how I can get this sample one folder 
into the very last folder within the documents folder, which is called what's up. So all you have to do is using a feature called spring loaded folders, just drag the file or folder into the folder that you want to move it to and just hold it there and just go through all the paths until you get where you want to be. So just drag in, hold it over documents and it just keeps going. And now here's the high folder, hold it in, and then what's up? And I've successfully moved it without having to click a bunch of times. So that's just one last feature I wanted to show you. Um, this wasn't the best example of using it, but I just wanted to show you. Really the finder doesn't get in the way or anything. It's not something you have to actively think about. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, just type them in the comment section. If you have any questions, type them. Um, suggestions for a video to make. Also, if this is your first time watching one of my videos and you enjoy them, go ahead and subscribe so you'll get notified whenever I make a new video. Um, also, check out my channel because I have videos for experienced Mac users as well, like theming your Mac, customizing and stuff like that. Um, also, application reviews, um, other types of videos, other tutorials. So, check out my channel. I have a ton of videos and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.